Hi guys, so today we are talking all about Billie Eilish and her skin undertone as well as her body type. So if you are completely new here and you don't know what's going on, this video will still be basic enough for you to understand and follow. Um, but if you are interested in the topic and want to dive deeper, take a look around my channel. I have a ton of videos and if you are still confused about your body type or skin undertone, I also offer typings through my website and I'll leave a link to those down below. Alright, let's get into it. So when we look at Billie Eilish, we see it right away from her face that she has some softer facial features and uh, that kind of gives me a hint that she is most likely some sort of soft type, although that's not always the case. And if you have softer facial features in general, that means you're going to be flattered by lightweight fabrics, softer fabrics, and softer textured hair instead of stiff hair and stiff fabrics. So that's the general idea when we're talking about having soft features or maybe more firm or more angular features. So now when we take a look at her the overall build that she has, I would say that she has a, she looks like she is moderate to short height, and I think she is pretty, pretty short, isn't she? Um, she may be pretty petite, you guys can let me know in the comments, but she does look like she is moderate to short in height, and so this kind of tells me that she doesn't have a lot of length to her silhouette, she doesn't have a lot of length to her lines, and uh, so so that kind of will tell us the length of the lines of the clothing that would be, she would be most at home in. Now, of course, her style is so avant-garde, so different all the time. And I think that's a lot of why some people, like, leave in the comments if you are old here and you sort of know about this topic, what do you, th what would you suspect Billie Eilish's body type is and what would you suspect her color type is? So, so yeah, so here i think this gives you know sort of more of a clue of what i think her her body type is i think she has some width to her frame overall and so she has some softness and she has some width to her frame and you can see that she has you know structure to her shoulders and of course here it's a bit exaggerated because of her posture and the way that she's sitting but you can really see that she has more structure to her shoulders and if you really watch her videos if you watch if you look at more images of her you'll see that she has that that structure to her shoulders and so she has a lot of softness to her physique and her figure too and she also has soft facial features and she has moderate to short lines and she has the um the, the structure as well to her bone structure and so here you can see a bit more clearly too in her in terms of her bone structure she has a bit of a stronger jawline as well because she has soft facial features it's it's difficult to see at first you know like here you can also see the the jawline a little bit but her bone structure is a bit more it has some soft angularity to it her facial bone structure her nose doesn't her nose is a bit more moderate but we're talking about overall sort of leanings toward a certain body type so so yeah so i would say that she definitely has some some beveled angles to her bone structure and so i love to see her in some softer colors i think that looks really beautiful on her i love to see her in the the softer hair color of course again she experiments so much with her clothing and she she's an artist a musician right so she has so much flexibility for what she wears um, but I really love to see her in those softer colors and in in some oversized oversized tops, oversized um, oversized items in general that have a bit more textured, tousled hair. So that really to me puts her into beveled soft, soft natural. So if you're if you're familiar with Kibby, that is soft natural. And so that's where I would put her. She really reminds me of scarlett johansson in a way and now that i say it i bet she reminds you of scarlett johansson too you may have not considered it right but once you start to see you know something like this it really gets you thinking you know her style is so so different from scarlett johansson but her body type her lines are really very similar she's curvy she has a little bit of an athletic build she is a bit more short and petite but overall, you know, tousled hair, pastels, bright colors, oversized, luxurious fits, things like that are just going to be beautiful on her. And waist emphasis will also be beautiful on her. So I love this. I love this. Um, 
the sweater on her you know I think that's beautiful and then here as well you can see I just really love the the softer softer blue on her and the lightweight fabric in more of a relaxed fit this to me is really saying soft natural um so so yeah so beveled soft soft natural is characterized by having a bit of athleticism maybe a bit of a wider bone maybe more structure to the bone structure but they can be moderate height or or even petite that's all fine and they have some beveled angles to their facial bone structure and then on top of that bone structure is a soft physique and soft facial features like lush facial facial features sometimes and a curvy body sometimes or like a soft physique in general so they don't always look athletic completely like some other body types but they have a little bit of a touch of that athleticism and so so that puts them into you know those softer softer fits you know you don't want anything too constricting of a fit too tailored too tight you want things to be loose and free and soft and you don't want anything too overdone you don't want anything too fussy you don't want anything that is you know small little curls that are very set you know you want for the hair to be free and sort of tousled and effortless and so that is going to look really chic on anyone who is beveled soft so i think this is perfect and then for colors they can do pastels really beautifully either that or they can do bright colors really beautifully so yeah so so with her style though a lot of you guys may have considered mixed top flamboyant gamine for her and i considered that but once i took a closer look at her and i really saw you know her her bone structure and everything i would really put her into beveled soft but her style you know is definitely very flamboyant like flamboyant gamine you know the mix and match approach the different hair colors and everything she has a ton of fun with her style and she changes it quite a lot um, but that doesn't mean that she is not beveled soft and a lot of those things that she wears look excellent on her and uh, you know like this hair color really works beautifully for her you know I mean I since she's an she since she's an artist a musician you know she can do a lot more with with the, the different hair colors because it's it's really expected at this point of Billie Eilish to you know just do all kinds of different fun things with, with her look and so I think this looks, you know, also very like, you know, signature of her. This is also signature of her. You know, she has a lot of different, different looks. Um, but if we're talking about really something that is the most effortless on her, I would say something like this is most effortless, something like this is most effortless, and something like this is most effortless as well. And so for her skin undertone, whereas this I feel like looks like, you know, a little bit more, more edgy, right? Not as effortless. So for her skin undertone, I would say that, you know, I want to put her into warm and delicate. I want to put her into warm and delicate, but I'm in between warm and delicate and cool and delicate for her. Um, I think she's probably, she may be warm and delicate. I may change my mind. I may retype her, but she's certainly very close to neutral. So this is telling me that, you know, those softer pastels, things that are more muted, like more muted colors would work really, really well on her that are softer and lighter. Um, and this red also looks really beautiful on her. She certainly has a very light coloring. Um, you know, not, it depends on what she colors her hair, but her eyes are pretty light, her eyelashes are pretty light, and her eyebrows are probably naturally pretty light. So, so I would say that she is really very close to neutral in terms of her skin undertone. For her essence, I would say that she has a mixture of natural essence as well as ethereal. Now, I think she she has a lot of natural essence because she is very like athletic in the way that she moves if you watch her videos in in terms of like just the the casualness of how she moves, you know, she she isn't like very, you know, like a classic like this, you know, like very, you know, um, it, she doesn't have the same kind of kind of um, sort of controlled essence of the classic. She's more relaxed, more carefree, more sort of laid back. I think laid back is maybe the the right the right term. 
in her interviews and in her in her videos she's a bit more laid back in her body language and overall in how she looks you know she kind of is a bit more laid back but of course she has that ethereal to her like here you can see it it's kind of it's laid back but it's also otherworldly and so i that's is that's i think why you know i love this like lighter softer hair color on her and the pastels because the ethereal natural essence or natural ethereal i would say ethereal is her second one and natural is her primary one but maybe depending on who you ask they may think differently um but yeah so i would say that you know here you can really see the ethereal essence too. i think it's in her eyes you know she looks very otherworldly very contemplative and so that can really give you a lot of ethereal essence and of course her eyes being you know like soft and her gaze being soft is also giving her some of that ethereal feel so i would put her into a natural ethereal essence and so natural is all about being sort of like laid back maybe a little bit more athletic uh, a bit more fun and carefree and chic and ethereal is all about otherworldly and so she has and and so that is more to do with maybe angels maybe things that look like they are timeless things that are more archetypal things like that now that is ethereal and so she has a combination of both of these essences so so yeah so in summary i would say that she is beveled soft soft natural she is definitely a delicate skin undertone and she has an ethereal and natural style essence or natural and ethereal so that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed that let me know your thoughts in the comments what you thought about billy eilish's skin undertone as well as a body type and also let me know if you have any video requests and i will leave the links down below to my typings through my website if you're still confused about your body type or color type okay i will talk to you next time all right bye